Okay guys, so this is the first of uh, several videos that will be coming on my channel uh, covering a variety of FPV cameras. I got a lot of requests on doing side-by-side -side, um, videos on comparing one camera to another, camera A versus camera B, etc. And as you know, there are just a ton of cameras out there and more are coming. And there's just no real practical way for me to make a video on every single request for a side-by-side -side comparison. So what I've done is instead I am uh, flying the same flight path for all these cameras that you're going to be seeing in these uh, videos coming up. And uh, obviously uh, there's so many cameras out there, there will have to be multiple rounds of these videos. So um, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be putting in this one, but uh, you'll see the list down below and I'll have the time indexes of where uh, you can find the sample clips for that camera. And it, all you need to do for a side-by-side -side comparison is open up two browser windows for this video, go to that index of the camera that you want to look at and the, uh, the second camera you want to look at and put the browsers next to each other and then you just have to um, scroll the video to the section that you're interested in uh, where I'm flying. And I'm flying the same park, I'm flying the same path, I'm doing it twice. Now it's not 100% exactly the same, I mean I'm flying the same path but I mean there might be slight variations in altitude and position but just to give you a general idea of what it looks like when I'm flying through trees, transitioning from light to dark conditions, etc. You can see that and, and you can either slow down the video if you want using the YouTube controls or you can pause and freeze the video and uh, get an idea of what that uh, video sample looks like in that same flight path comparing the two cameras side by side. Now with all of these video samples, I am recording them with an onboard DVR. Uh, all the recordings are um, recorded in 720p and I've corrected the aspect ratios whether it's a 16.9 or 4.3 camera. The bitrate of the video is going to be higher than what you would get in uh, say like a Fat Shark recording. And obviously with the onboard DVR recording there's not going to be any um, uh, transmission breakups so it's going to be completely clear. Now, I got complaints from people before saying that the onboard DVR is actually higher quality than what you see in the goggles, and I don't know where that's coming from because that's absolutely false. Um, obviously, it's going to be better than what the Fat Shark DVR can show you, but there is absolutely no way that any DVR is going to show you or, or actually show you a video quality that's actually better than what you see in the goggle itself. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get uh, 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 basically a higher bitrate recording without any video breakup uh, to give you a little bit better representation which you can see in the goggles but still uh, even with this it's still not coming even close to the quality of the video you're going to see in the goggles itself but this is going to be way better than what you can see in any kind of fat shark DVR recording. So I'm trying, sort of kind of coming to a middle ground here and give you guys video samples that are going to be higher quality to give you a, a better idea of what you're going to see in the goggles and so that will give you a better idea of which kind of camera you should buy for you because uh, I, you know honestly I'm making these videos because there's a lot of noise out there about people saying that this camera is the best that camera is the best but it doesn't really matter because what matters is what camera is good for you and what you think is good video quality and I think uh, providing these samples is probably going to uh, be a, a good way for you guys to get a grasp on what's going to be a good camera for you. Anyway, go ahead and roll some of these clips here. Obviously this is just a first uh, round and there'll be more cameras obviously in round two and future rounds that I'll be putting together. Uh, obviously I have to fly all of these cameras the same way so it just take time. I have to kind of find the same day, the same weather pattern, etc. same lighting conditions. So it is a little bit challenging because there's so many cameras. So be patient if there's a camera that's missing. Uh, it probably will come out eventually, but if there's something that is kind of an obscure camera that maybe no one knows about that you'd like to see in this roundup or in a future roundup, you know, please let me know in the comments below because uh, there's a lot of cameras out there uh, that are I'm trying to cover. I'm trying to cover more of the popular ones, but of course there are a lot of other ones out there that I may not even know about. And if you think that there's one that's not so popular that I should be aware of, please let me know in the comments below.